Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Tegan, aka Teague Louise. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, but I'm not very interesting. Um, you can also find me on here, and you can find me over on my blog, which is teaguelouise.com. If you like what you see in here, feel free to hit the subscribe. I don't know where it is because I'm new to this. You can also turn on notifications. I've heard people say that. I'll be checking on you. <laughs> if you want to get this look, just keep on doing what you're doing. My brows do need doing. I'm growing them out, so you're just going to have to bear with. And as you can see as well, this is a good time to do a tutorial, because I don't know if you can tell, but my rosacea has flared up just recently. I've got some on here. I've also got this patchy bit on my chin. I'm going to start off by just using my Marc Jacobs primer. I sort of squirt about this much. It's so cold in the UK today. So what I'm going to do is just mix two foundations together. I've been using a mixture of The Ordinary and Fenty just because this one's lighter. As you can see, way lighter than my complexion. Um, but it's a much thinner uh, sort of formula <laughs> um, so I just tend to mix these two together to get my sort of shade because I like that matte finish that Fenty gives me but then I also like the formula of the serum foundation I like how that sits on my skin and how it's a bit more dewy as well I'm not really getting the coverage that I need. As you can see, you can still see my rosacea through here. I already need that little extra coverage. I'm just going to use one of the Hourglass. I use this very sparingly just because it cost me an arm and a leg. What I usually do, put this all the way down, all the way across, in a sort of triangle. And the same on this side, triangle. In terms of contouring, I usually use my Fenty Matchsticks in the shade Mocha. Um, I like to blend out my concealer last, so I tend to do all of the contour and then, um, and then blend the concealer. I'm going to blend out my concealer.
that's what it looks like unblended unfiltered grab that view blender put it in don't move the product just carry on It'll take a while the art of finesse and then just pat up here up here any work that I have done, I go over with my Too Faced powder. It's slightly lighter than I would use for my regular contour. Is same powder. So this is the Kat Von D same powder. This is a miniature version of it. So it's just translucent. So what we're going to be using is the Kristen Mayan um, palette. As you can tell by my gross nails, which really need to be doing, I am living beach at the minute. But this is the sort of um, colour palette that you get with this one so you get like a nice white and then you've got like two this one and this one here are both like nice sort of warm colour let's say this one's a little this one's a little on the cooler side this one subscribe is slightly warmer and then you've got a really warm toned peach here it's really confusing because I'm watching myself in the monitor which is like this way this way so that's why I'm trying to like everything's reversed Woo! and then you've got eight which is a warm brown I'm gonna dip into subscribe and daydream this sign powder underneath just ensures that whatever you're doing doesn't sort of transfer like you know when you get fallout out the fallout will only fall to here so if you're one of those girls who hates fallout probably would aggravate you I'm gonna pop some Anastasia um, cream contour color in neutral do brows just while the rest of this sets because I want to be mindful of how long I'm leaving this powder on to set. gonna grab the end of this Urban Decay brush and the shade Lucy and just sort of brush that under the brows just to give them a little bit of a lift. I'm gonna dust off what I've got on first. Dip into Lucy and then just pop that in the corner. And then I'm going to go back in with the same the brush that came with the palette, just on this end, the smaller side. And all I'm going to grab is just a mixture of this one here, it's going to be my 
first colour and then we're going to go in with this one here. The only thing that's sort of left to do is the contour highlight and then just a little bit of a lip colour. So for contour at the minute I'm using the Smashbox palette. I don't lie, it's not my favourite. I don't think it's as pigmented as I'd like it to be. However, oh, it does a job. I ain't got the quite a new one in a minute, so... just grab a big fluffy brush like this um, and I just use my Anastasia Trio I think because I've got rosacea I tend to feel like a lot of blush it makes me just look like my rosacea has come out in full force however like peachy blushes don't tend to do that and also like using a big fluffy brush tends to diffuse it a little bit more this is one of my favorites as well because this is a peach and a bronze all in one so like if I put a little bit of this one on you'll see Just gives my face like a nice glow and bronze without being like way too much on the face. These two I would definitely recommend if you've got rosacea. This is Peachy Love and this is the Anastasia and this is Papa Don't Peach. The only thing that I would recommend with this one is to swirl all the way around because this one obviously is more of, is like a very peach tone. These two are slightly on the pinker side, so you can get a tendency to like bring out what I feel like it brings out the rosy show underneath um, if you use something that's too peachy, pinky toned. This is something like a hot by Colourpop. Some people say this is not my colour. I say, well, um, I like to pop this on sort of with a dump view blender, but it's just like such a nice wet look. I think if I would have had the time to like properly look at these I probably would have got a slightly lighter colour but I love the formula of it and um you can't get Colourpop over here so I had to order it um online and like specially get it delivered and stuff so it was like it was a little bit harder I'm not making excuses however because I like the formula so much I use it anyway it is a nice bronzy tone but I don't feel like it's majorly too much. I don't feel like it's like, like I bought the uh, Fenty, like one of the darkest highlighters. That was too much. And I'll admit it. This is like my go-to look, other than lips, which I use the Bite, um, Bite Beauty. This is number 36. I don't know if they have shade names. This just says 036. So it's 036. I always stick to the lines as you can see. <laughs> I don't know how to come for me, but my Overland lips, it's because I'm waiting to get my next lip fillers, so. And then the only other thing I use is the Urban Decay Lip Gloss in Liar. I'm sure these are discontinued now. So these don't have a scent. And I do think that they're bringing out well, I know, I don't think. They bring out like the lo fi. Lo fi? Lo I want to say lo fi lip glosses soon. Um, I don't know if they're out yet. I think they might be out in America, but not out in the UK. Um, but they look beautiful. So I'm really excited for those. In terms of first impressions, um, 
I know I've swatched things before so it's not technically like a first impression but it feels like it to me I've not used them so it doesn't feel like it's like a oh you've used them before so how's it first impressions no just swatch them Kirsten Leanne palette really like it it's very pigmented um I felt like I had no trouble blending it I mean I don't know whether you guys thought I had trouble blending it if you did then I didn't so don't block me um I just remember that I forgot to do my setting spray. I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> it's nice and like sturdy, so it's like made of cardboard, but I feel like it's sturdy. It's got like a magnetic close thing. Pants are pretty big. Um, I've got no complaints about the palette. The only thing I would say is if you're someone who is scared of fallout, don't get it. It's not for you. It's not gonna be like if you're gonna complain if you're one of the people who sat and bitched about subculture when subculture came out if you're one of the people who bitches about like any palette that has a slight fallout don't buy it you, you you're gonna bitch it goes to shit there's a little bit of fallout fallout's not the biggest deal in the world it's not a deal breaker let's see if we use this let's have a look because that's a very hardy brush that comes with the Anastasia ones let's give it a go Ooh. Eh, not so much. There's a tiny bit, like you can see it. When Anastasia's subculture came out, I bought it straight away. I really liked the colours and I just ordered it. I just moved into my house. I probably couldn't afford to order it, but I did because I wanted it. When it got here, I was like, when it was on its way, I was really upset because I was like, oh my god, the fallout, everyone's been complaining, it's going to be a big deal. It got here, and I have not had an issue with it. I've not like had a big massive drama. I don't find it patchy. I don't find it hard to blend. I think that the palette is a pigment palette. It's not like a regular eyeshadow palette. So they're very pigmented. I feel the same about this. This is very pigmented. Compared to my Naked 2 and Naked 3, this is like the most pigmented palette I've had from Urban Decay. And you know, like maybe that counts for something, I don't know. But people who like say that there's like massive dramatic fallout are the people who sit here going like properly, like no. When you're doing your eyeshadow, do you do this or do you go like no? Ain't nobody gonna do that when they're doing the makeup. That's why you've got fallout. If you're swirling your brush around in a pan, then you're the problem. This I've been using for a while anyway. I love it. Um, it, I feel like it really brightens up my eyes, and that's what I've been wanting for a while. I've had like black liners and brown liners for my waterline. And I've been missing like a light liner to sort of, you know, use on my waterline because I feel like that was something that I was missing. That was something that I needed. Um, so yeah, no qualms with this. Where is that gone? Ah, oh, here it is. Under all the brushes. Didn't get around to using this. Um, plainly because I didn't want to um, push it too far. I feel like I'm not the most experienced on using liquid liners. I don't use them often enough to feel like the most comfortable. So I feel like what I should do is maybe practice a little and then come back to it. But I do feel like it's a very nice formula. Um, it's obviously like not as chunky as the older formula as well. And I think I bought this to challenge myself. I didn't buy it thinking oh, I'm perfect with liquid liner. Like. I don't wear liner for a reason. That's something to strive for this year. By the end of this year, I'll be like liner queen. I feel like it volumizes, does everything it says on the package. Setting spray, I'll tell you how it smells. Ooh, it smells like coconut. Me. Ooh, let's go. I like all nighter, like I've used it before, I've had it before. Just feel like it's too mattifying. Like I like my face to have a little bit of like a Too Faced, my last product. Um, I've used this a million times before. This is my fourth, fourth tube in two years. So it does last me a good amount of time. I don't know whether I should keep it for that long, but I don't pay attention to any of the guidelines on how long you should keep makeup for, because why would I? 